right, my next guest, a very beautiful and talented, tall, very oh, nice, very tall. Oh, yeah. gorgeous. She's oh. the host of a new daily talk show called Just Kiki, which is premiering on uh, June the 30th on the BET, and she's starring in Masters of Sex. <laughs> Probably need some music for that. Masters of Sex. <coughs> yep. <laughs> Second season begins on July the 13th on Showtime. It's Kiki Palmer, everybody. Kiki Palmer. You know, you look amazing. Just oh my gosh, amazing. thank like, you so much. Wow. I was very sad because my voice wasn't as, you know, prepped up as it usually is. Oh, I like it. A little it. bit hoarse, so I'm sad for this. No, I like it. But I have a bit of a problem with it because you look so great and your voice is kind of like, hey, it's like I've had it. <laughs> But so I, also kind of, can, I can also get my little sexy vibe like, thank you so much for having me on the show today. Yeah, see, that, now that's freaking me out a little bit, because the first time you were on the show, you were 12. Every time. You yeah. know, I'm growing up now. Why can't you accept this from me? <laughs> I can't accept it. That's what's freaking me out. <laughs> I'm like, oh. It, like, it makes me feel like, you know, what guys must feel like when they have daughters that grow into beautiful women. They must be like, well, what the hell am I going to do now? <laughs> You're gonna accept it now. Yeah, I no, I accept. And clearly, I would have to be in full flight from reality to not see you're a beautiful woman. But I need help. You need help. Yes, I'm starting a talk show. I need I need to learn some things from you. What kind of you come in the wrong place for a talk show? Uh... What? Well, here's what I would do: deconstruct the genre, get yourself a skeleton robot, and cuss as much as possible. <laughs> advice, Craig, and you know it. All right, then. Um, look what, what people are saying on uh, Twitter or on the internet, and whatever suggestions they make, follow them. <laughs> and then you'll make a great show. I have another thing for you. Are you going to let me interview you on my show? Sure. You want to do me in, uh, I mean, interview me now? <laughs> Knock it off! I've known her since she was a little girl! <laughs> yeah, go ahead, start. I'll pretend I'm on your guest. Hi, Kiki. How have you been? It's so wonderful to have you. Thanks. <laughs> so tell me, how have you been lately? What's new? Well, um, I've, uh, I've, I've been to, I've bought a house. A house? Is this your first house? No, I'm 52 years old, Kiki. <laughs> <laughs> so this is your... Don't you have producers? <laughs> You gotta look me up before I come on the show. See how you do me? You're gonna be, you're gonna embarrass me on my no, show. No, I wouldn't embarrass you on your show. I wouldn't dream of doing that. That's not what I'm about. I, honestly, I mean, I have some fun and stuff, but I don't want to try. You know what I would say? Like, if, if so, you want someone to enjoy being on the show, just treat them like you would somebody in your house. Like, you know, somebody you like. Oh. You know, and only have people you like on the show. Number one rule. Like, so when, when they have, like, hey, you can have this big star, and you're like, but that's a douche. No. <laughs> Now, it will affect you in the ratings. <laughs> Schnitzel. You know. So pretty much, don't sell myself out. Well, a little bit. You know, you can sell out a little bit, but not so much as it makes you feel bad about yourself. Okay, okay. You know, you gotta, the reality, you gotta pay the bills. Okay, okay, yeah. I definitely can dig that, I can dig that. Any other tips you got for your girl? Uh, no, that's it. <laughs> Why are you doing a talk show? I mean, is it something you wanted to do? Yes, it's been something I want to do for a very, very long time. Uh, the past three years, actually. Um, I just felt there wasn't anything on television that really offered my generation a place where they could talk about the issues. Either it's, you know, we're talking about twerking and all this other crazy stuff, or we're talking about nothing. There's nothing in that in-between time where we can really express what we're going through. And but don't you, don't you enjoy middle-aged white guys mocking you? <laughs> No, we don't. We oh, really? I resent that. I thought that's what the young folks love. <laughs> no, it makes us feel very judged. Well, you know, I, I think it's, it's only done from a place of fear. <laughs> I actually think that could be true. It is true. Of children are it. the future, right? I believe children are the future. <laughs> Teach them well and they will... <laughs> 
Show them all the beauty they possess inside. <laughs> Give them a sense of pride. Yeah. <laughs> I think I think I'm done. I can't go me any too, further. Me too. Yeah, I need uh, lyrics. Well, that's, but that's good, though. I like I like that you're doing it. Now, what issues are you going to talk about? Is it going to be like a hard news thing, or is it like pop well, culture, or pop culture and hard news thing? Everything in between. We're going right. to talk about. You going to do a monologue? Like hey, right, baby. Yeah, you got to. <laughs> what, what, what's this about here? Yeah, yeah it's a Leno thing. It's like uh, I always think of Jay's monologue because Jay was like, you know, he did the archetypal late night monologue. He's like, hey, the, the thing, the thing, you know. <laughs> You gonna do that? No, I'm gonna be more like, you know, what, what's on your mind? Let's talk about, you know, we're gonna talk about, you're gonna laugh when I say this, we're gonna right. talk about sex. <laughs> I'm gonna... very uncomfortable when you use that word around here. Sex. Okay, okay. <laughs> right. We're gonna talk about um, growing pains, going off to college, you know, yeah. what happens when you first live on your own. Uh, you know the first thing I did when I lived on my own? Bought a melon. Bought a melon. Yeah, yeah. Because I had this thing that, like, my uh, my mom used to always say, you can only have one slice of melon. <laughs> one slice of melon. That melon's for the whole family. <laughs> and so when I moved into a place, my own melons were like a buck. And I bought one. I ate the whole damn thing myself. Oh. Nice, everybody. Then, then I went and got some Coke. <laughs> What's in this cup here? Uh, it's uh, just a drink of water. Get yourself some kind of signature beverage container as well. That's always a good idea. Have you kind got of some trademark, yeah? Yeah, you know, something that says, just kiki. Ah. Do you know that uh, keek is uh, what Scottish people say to babies when they're go playing peekaboo? They go, keek. <laughs> so I'm friendly, I'm lovable. You can yeah, yeah, keek. trust me with your kids. That's what kiki means, right? Sure. <laughs> I ran with that one. I ran with that. No, one. no, it's good. Anyway, uh, we're out of time. That's another thing. You got to, you got to figure out. Uh, I, what, what did I say? That was so fast. You better leave. Give me a chance. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, no. The thing is, and then there's people who'll be like, "Hey, I want more time," and you'll be like, "Sorry." <laughs> then you have to do an awkward pause or a mouth organ or uh, we could pretend to eat kale balls. Kale balls? No, I can't take it. Not even imaginary. I do. <laughs> I do understand. It's one of the reasons why I like you so much. So do you, you want to eat any other? I don't want the imaginary food. Um, so, uh, awkward pause. Let's okay. do an awkward pause. There you go. All right. <laughs> Kiki Palmer, everybody!